Let's add custom science to Minecraft. Forging fabric courses with advanced topics such as entities, custom structures, and 3D armor models linked in the description below. Alright, we found ourselves back in IntelliJ once more, and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom signs to Minecraft, and this has actually been made very easy for us with the help of this particular GitHub repository from Nupo right here. This is the fabric sign example right here. I highly recommend checking this out. It's really freaking easy. So we can actually like look at the how many things there are in here. You can see we will use Mixon here, but it actually isn't that crazy. We're gonna have two Mixon right here. We of course need some blocks, right? This is gonna be our sign blocks. And then there's gonna just be a util right here. So all things considered, it's not actually gonna be that crazy. So this is really, it's actually gonna be fairly straightforward doing this and yep, so let's just jump in. So let's look at the following. Let's actually, first of all, create the two mix and that we're gonna need just so that we have them already. The first one is gonna be the sign type accessor right here. And then we also need the block entity type mix and there you go. Those are the two that we are gonna need. And once again, I will copy over the contents here. However, everything here is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. And of course, also on the GitHub repository from Nupo. And let's just copy this over as well. There you go. So we're just basically making uh, the new sign type and the register new accessible here. So the register and the init methods from the signed type class just accessible for us. And let's not forget to add this in the resources folder in the tutorial mod Mixon. Very important that we add this to the JSON file. Otherwise, we're going to have an issue. So we could just take this one right here and add it to the Mixon. Well, of course, we still need this. There you go. And then the last one, this one as well. Let's just add this as well. There you go. So those two added and then we should be fine. We can now close those mixin for the time being and we can then continue along with some other stuff. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new class instead of our entity package actually, right here. And this is gonna be the mod sign types. Now the mod sign types will define every type of different, well, sign we have. So this is gonna be a public static final sign type. There you go, called Jacaranda of course. And this is going to be equal to sign type accessor dot register new and then sign type accessor new sign type putting in the jacaranda right here as the name and there you go there should be no errors present but we will need to use this particular sign type in just a moment and namely we need to use this in the blocks so now in the mod blocks class what we can do is we can just register our two blocks so let's just copy over the mithril blast right here and this is going to be the jacaranda underscore wall, underscore sign, underscore block, just to be crazy here. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, just calling it the Jacaranda sign block, making sure that we have this one named Jacaranda underscore sign, a wall sign actually, Jacaranda underscore wall, underscore sign. And then let's just copy this over as well and then call this the Jacaranda underscore sign. Now this is of course gonna be a wall sign block right here. We're just gonna take the Material, let's just copy it from the blocks dot. I mean, let's just take the oak wall sign right here and the second parameter after we actually don't need the non opaque. After the copy right here, we want the mod sign types dot jacaranda. There you go. And then the same thing here, just we don't want the wall sign block, but just the normal sign block. And then same thing, actually, the same thing goes in here. Let's just copy this over as well. There you go. And this is going to be the oak sign, so not the wall sign but just the oak sign there you go that should pretty much be all of the things that we need for this now we still need an item for this and we actually have to define this item specifically this is why also we actually want not to use this method but we want to use our register without block item method once again let's just do this and then let's also copy this name there you go and that should be fine then because then in the item class, in the mod items class right here, we actually want to make a new item for this. And so again, let's copy this one over here and let's look at the item. So this is just going to be the jacaranda underscore sign. And of course, same name here, jacaranda underscore sign, making sure I write this correctly, because this is quite the name, sign item in this case. And we're going to do this, this is fine. And then the max count is actually gonna be 16 for this. And then it makes two more parameters in the sign item. And that's gonna be mod blocks dot jacaranda 
sign block and then the second one is the mod blocks Jacaranda war sign block. There you go. That should be pretty much all that we need right here. And crazily enough, we're almost finished with all of this. Because the last thing we need to add are actually the JSON files. So that should be fairly self-explanatory. Let's actually first of all add the texture. So one of the textures has to be added in the Minecraft folder. Instead of the Texas folder, make a new directory called entity. And then instead of there, we need to make a new directory called signs, very important, with an S at the end. And then let's add the Jacaranda PNG right here. I'll actually show this how it looks like. So this is actually how the you know actual sign is going to be displayed inside of the world. So that's this PNG right here. You can also take a look at the external libraries under this one right here, once again, in the assets folder, Minecraft textures, and then under entity signs. Let's actually search for this. There you go, signs. We should see, you know, the other ones, the vanilla signs as well. And you can see it looks pretty much exactly the same. So this is what we need to put right there. And then that should be fine as well. And then we still, of course, need the block states JSON files. So let's just copy them over. Those are, of course, also all available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gist as well. But they are pretty, you know, non-exciting, let's be honest. So it's a normal JSON file for both the sign and the wall sign. They both just point to the same model right here. And let's actually also add the translation before we proceed. So the translation actually will only happen with the block. So we need this one right here. So there you go, the Jacaranda sign. And then we need still a block and an item model as well as the item texture so let's add the jacaranda sign here for the for the block model actually so this just points to the jacaranda planks particles right here because those are the particles that are going to be well displayed when you destroy this sign that's why we need this one and then of course the item model should be fairly self-explanatory at this point this is just the item model or the texture in this case that's being displayed in the inventory so under item and then this is the jacaranda sign so let's just copy this over as well there you go and then we should have everything we need. JSON files, of course, you know, very much like usual. The only interesting thing here is the actual sign right here. And this name, of course, has to match the name defined in the mod signs type right here. So make sure that those names match and then you should be fine. So that should pretty much be all that we need to add for the custom sign. So I guess let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. And as you can see, the Jacaranda sign has been added to the game. And let's right click and there you go. It all works and let's just say done and there you go it works and the sign on the wall also works so don't forget to subscribe of course <laughs> a little bit of self-promotion here you know never hurt anybody but yeah that's pretty much um, you know the working sign and if you destroy it you can see we get the particles as well so everything working correctly and well, i mean that's how easy it is to add a new sign to minecraft right but that would be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new if you did i would very much appreciate it. like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. I also want to thank all of my lovely Patreon supporters for supporting me and this channel. It is very much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.